Welcome to Cringe Crew. Hello everybody. Welcome to another video. Um, today, what I am going to do, here, let me see if I can just get this a little closer. Here. Okay, how do I... Okay, today what I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm going to be touring a Minecraft mansion. Just let me load it. The world is called Mega Mansion Complex. Okay, and then here is the actual mansion itself. So basically what this is, is this is the um, Chinese mythology text, um, master pack. What I did is I converted the Patala Palace into an actual mansion. So here is what I've added onto the first part. If you have this texture pack or a uh, mashup pack, you can basically see oh so you did this and that to this and that you can compare the two so this is the entrance really the road just sort of ends right there because I have it doing that um, and so this is the entrance into here and then so this is the, just the garage so I'm gonna open the door oh no Okay, so we're in here. Okay, no more, none more of those doors. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is something that I added on to the place, which is this huge um, catacomb kind of thing. Huge temple, if you so say. Um, and it sort of goes over here. There's like a map here, or whatever that is. Okay, and now we're going to go up. And basically this will take you up. So what this path will take you to is it'll take you actually to my uh, bomb shelter area, which I have built. So in here we have sort of a meeting room. Yeah. I went for a bomb shelter and then we go down here and there's sort of like a courtyard area over here all this stuff is still really being built oh I just placed a painting whatever okay and then we go up here and now we're in the building and in the building so basically you start up over here these are just bedrooms, nothing really to see. I'm going to show you the main stuff that you can see here. So the first one I think is in here, yep. So this is a bedroom that I've built. Right down here, this is a bedroom. That's bedroom number one of the ones that I've built. So basically all the other things that are up here are just bedrooms, so there's nothing really over here to see. And then we're going to go down here. Then right here is bedroom number two. Yeah, right in here. Pretty nice. And so basically what I've done is I converted the temple into a mansion. Now, remember this, there's a bunch of unfinished rooms as well. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Okay, so now we're going to go up here. 
there's nothing really down here and we're going to see the movie theater so the movie theater is actually kind of new so you can come down here and then you can turn on oh no I placed that uh, you can come down here and turn on the lights and that's the screen and then that's what it looks like with the lights on then we're gonna go through back through here up here and then there's some sort of weird little room over there and then into here so this is a big sort of worshipping area so this used to just be a flat area that was up here and I had to dig out all of this so yeah that's a worshipping area sort of speak and then down here there's just some closet rooms and stuff like that nothing really to see um, so then we're gonna go up these stairs, move, so, in here there's like a hallway sort of thing, and it'll take you over to here, and basically this is the main entrance, this is the dining room right here, um, and here is the kitchen, yes, very, very nice kitchen, close the door right there. Um, so then in here, there's nothing much really to see except for a small tiny bedroom. Okay, and then we're going to go over here. Okay, and then up here is like a little sitting area. Um, in here is another bedroom that I've customized. Um, I don't know, this used to be the old sort of chanting place but that has moved to that larger area okay so then if we go through here here is sort of the main sort of like temple place with all these poles and stuff um, if you go up these stairs one way you can get up through here you can get sort of a viewpoint of the whole dining area and then if you go up here one layer It'll take you to the pool. This used to be a courtyard with another building in it, but it's turned into a pool with a glass cover over. So to keep all the rain and stuff out. And then if you go through here. <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> this is basically the main, the main master bedroom or complex area of the whole thing. So up here he has sort of a chanting, worshipping place, some weird triangle that was there. And if we go down here, um, here is just a main little area that you walk through. Here's a wall right here. This is sort of like a, another area. This is the main entrance to his place. Because right here is the courtyard with the pool is right there. And so yeah, you have all of this. There's also this section over here, and then we're going to go to his bedroom, which should be, I believe it was up another stairway, which is right up here. You go up here, he has such a little small area over here as well. And then you also go up this. And then you're to the bed area which is right up here and then I think you can exit right here and then there's also one more thing is a uh, sitting area down here with a TV okay so let's go out of here and let's go to the next place so I don't exactly know how to get to the next place, really. This place is super huge. It's like a maze to walk through. See, like, all of this. It's basically a huge maze. I think you can enter from the stairwell to the next place I'm going to show you. Aha, right here. So right here we have a pool table, right here. Um, next to that, I believe this is a bathroom. There was another bathroom in the master's quarters, but I didn't want to show you that. And then, um, so then up here, 
there's like a, another bedroom. So this is bedroom number three. Number four if you're including the master's quarters, ones that I've built. So this one sort of has a bed and some bookcases. Okay, so the next place we're going to go to is back down to the main area. So that would be this way. Oh wait, there's actually another bedroom right down here that I can show you. So this is bedroom number five right here. Some of these are more basic than others. And we have a couple. I have like one more bedroom to show. And then there's some other places that I have to show. Uh, we haven't, I barely scratched the surface of the overall building, but I've gone through most of what I'm going to show you today. Which is all I'm going to show you for this. Okay, so we go down. I guess we could go down through here as well. There. Okay, so then here's like a little sitting area, yada yada yada. And then we're off to the next catacomb area. Well, this isn't really a catacomb, it's just a long place that goes from here down to the other end. Why did I place this? Oh my gosh. I'm placing too much stuff. So up here we have a little sitting area. And then we have a door over here, which leads to another bedroom, which is really basic, because that was one of the first bedrooms that I did. And then out here, I believe we have a little porch. Yep. So out here on the porch... I also have, well not that, um, I also have a little, there's a bench right there, table, and there's a garden over around here, over here, and then I have the actual courtyard right here, which has a helipad in it, which is right here, and then in here is a meeting complex. So this is a meeting room. Very cool, very nice. And then you can come up here in the meeting room there. Hello guys, sorry about that last incident, but I am back here. So this will be a part two. This will be a shorter part two. So right now I'm showing you guys the meeting room area. So here it is. And you can sort of enter from here with those doors right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go around over here. And so we're going to go out. There we go. Oh my god, damn. Okay, so we're right here. And, and now we're going to go through here. And I'm going to show you this, which is basically the main like living room kind of thing where you have like a TV, lights, and then things like that. So yeah, see the TV right there? Right there. Okay. Okay, so now and there's like a chair or bench couch over there. Now we're going to go to the last bedroom and some outside features. Okay, so I'll just fly and then go up over here. So I'll talk about some of these outside features after that. Okay, so up the stairs, up the stairs. Okay. So in here we just have like a sitting area where people can chill. There's a window looking out across the countryside. And then in here we have one of my favorites, favorite bedrooms, since I worked for a while on this one, which is right here. So you have a bed, stuff. And then we have a bathroom over here, and it's a tall ceiling, well then there's glass blocking it right there, so yeah. And then we now, if you can come over through here. Um, so then we have all of this area over here 
And we have a wall right there. And then in here we have, oh no, why did I place that? We have a library. So there's books up here. And then there's books down here. And it just has the three levels of library right there. So then let's go back up. Oh no. Oh no. So up here, up there, and then I think we just go up through here, through the door right there. And that was basically a basic tour of the place, um, of the indoors. That was the basic tour. There's a lot more to see, but can't go there now. I can't go through those now. So right now there's a wall that surrounds most of the building as you can see right through here. And then there's like a gazebo kind of thing over here with a little garden area over here. There used to be a building part that came out but I took it down because it had no purpose. Oh yeah and I do have one more room to show actually which is a pretty big room. So let's go there now. So it's actually up here, and it's right here. So this is supposed to be Slayla, some like gym, exercise room type of thing. And then there's one more bedroom, which is right here. And then there's like a big window right here for them. And then they have like a little boundary, so for when they're sleeping, they can have some privacy. So then, yeah, that's basically all of the in-store stuff. It's pretty big actually, but a lot of the stuff I didn't choose to show. Just because I didn't put work towards that area. And then there's this sort of gazebo area right here. Right there. And the garden. And then um, over here we have like cherry trees. They usually are actually birch trees, but the texture pack used to, turns them as like cherry trees and it's surrounding the whole place and then we have sort of like a little garden complex with a stairway going up right there <coughs> right into here with trees everywhere it's pretty okay and then We have, um, so yeah, and then there's actually a courtyard right here, but I couldn't find the entrance to it, so here it is. It's got like a little table of cover with lights for when it's nighttime, and yeah, so this is basically all of the thing, that all of the stuff that I have to show of this. Um, there's more coming soon of it, hopefully. When I get to the point of finishing some stuff. Um, but yeah, then there's an entrance to this, which is pretty cool. This room is pretty big, just to say. It's pretty big, and it, it's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and watch some of my other stuff. And uh, Cringe Crew out and about drinking the stuff.